Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. In our 10 Micro series, today we are going to see how to install Deep Security Manager in Multinode. Guys, Multinode installation is very useful for the people who are managing multiple Deep Security agents using one single server. If in case you are also managing multiple servers using single Deep Security Manager, then please reconsider your architecture because Multinode is going to help you a lot in terms of your scalability and the performance. It can handle maximum load of your deep security agents. Guys, basically in your regular installation, what exactly happen? You have one single database server. It could be on same server where deep security manager is installed or it could be on different server. But when you increase the number of agents, your server performance get degraded. In those situations, if you add one more deep security manager server, then your performance will be going the top notch and all your activity will be done faster. So how you can install your deep security manager in multi-node? Before I proceed with the installation, let me tell you there are few things which you have to consider very first. The very first thing is, do you really require multi-node installation? So it's completely depend on your number of manager agents. Second thing, before installation of your DSM in multi-node, make sure that you have completely backed up your deep security manager application as well as the database. So that if in case anything goes wrong, you will be able to do disaster recovery. I'll post that link how to perform disaster recovery in my description of this video. And the third point is on the new server where you are going to install deep security manager, make sure that server is up to date with the latest windows patches. And I recommend to provide the same operating system and good amount of your hardware resources. And the next is from your new deep security manager server, make sure that you have allowed all firewall ports so that if in case of your first server goes down, your second uh, multi-node server can seamlessly connect to the internet and download the required definition as well as it can communicate with all your deep security agents to provide the definition. Hence, your firewall post must be allowed. In six option, uh, you would require a SQL Server credential because during the installation of multi-node DSM, you need to authenticate with your deep security manager database. And the next is master key. When you first time install your deep security and if you have configured the master key to encrypt your database, then same key you will have to enter during the second DSM installation. Now very important guys, please log into your deep security manager console and check what exactly version you are running in your environment. In my PC, I am running deep security manager version 20.0.635. So in new DSM installation, you would require the same version setup file. Otherwise your installation may get fail and you will encounter lots of issue with your SQL database, which will again lead you to the disaster recovery. So download the same setup. If you don't have this setup file, then upgrade this server to the latest version and then install your DSM in multi-node. Just for your information, if I go to the administration under system information, then you will see that right now I have only single deep security manager in my environment that is DSM and my database is also installed on the same server. Let me show you if I go to the run cmd hostname then here is my computer name DSM and it also has the same computer name as well as the same URL dsm.technicalspark.com. Now let me log up from here. Now we'll jump directly to our new server where we are going to install multi-node DS. Let's log in into that server. Let me open my CMD to show you the host name. My this server host name is DSM multi-node. Let me minimize this. Now if I go to the download folder, then here is the same version setup file. Before we proceed, make sure you are able to telnet your deep security manager server where your database is installed. I am referring deep security manager because in my deep DSM only my database is installed. Now telnet to your database server. So my database is installed on my deep security manager server. And here is the IP of that server along one with port number 1433. I am able to connect with my database. So make sure that you have connect proper connectivity with your uh, deep security manager server as well as the SQL database server. Once it's there, then simply right click and run your deep security manager installation setup. Now click on OK to select the language. 
click next accept the license and agreement next now select your installation path guys right now in my pc i have only c drive that's the reason i'm installing in c drive but if you are in production environment then please install in different drive apart from your operating system drive so click on next enter your sql server information so my this is my sql server dsm database name is also dsm enter your username and password to log in into the your sql server guys if in case you have given different name uh, other than named instance then please specify that particular your sql server instance name here but in my case i am going with the default instance because my sql instance name is sql express next this is my secondary server login url now click on next start readiness check so that it will check the prerequisite for me everything is perfect now click on install deep security manager enter the master key so i know the master key of my previous server so i can enter those now click on next install relay enabled agent on this server also so that is fine click on next review all the information which you have enter and click install the installation is in progress as you can see my deep security relay agent is installed and here is the icon of the same agent activation required so activation will automatically happen once i am done with the installation because installation is still going on it's loading all the component in our agent perfect the installation is completed now click on finish button to launch the your application maximize this more information and here we go my default username is add master admin and the password of our primary server perfect if you see my url then is dsm-multinode.technicalspark.com now if i go to the computer it says two agent one is dsm.technicalspark.com and second is dsm-multinode.technicalspark.com right now it's unmanaged is got activated now managed online now close this now if i go to the my deep security agent it shows activation okay the refresh is required i guess it's already changed let me reopen yeah my relay is activated and it's running now now friends if i go to the my previous console because this is my dsm-multinode.com so if i open new tab and enter same url here now let let's remove the hyphen multinode and click on enter enter the username master admin master admin and your login password here we go my deep security manager is installed now let me show you one very interesting thing if i go to the administration system information then here is a magic now you can see my dsm and dsm hyphen multinode is in sync and both the servers are connecting to the single database here it is here is some more in server information for my dsm and dsm hyphen multinode isn't it interesting guys but the only thing is there is, you don't have any control like on how many agents should be shifted on this primary server and on how many uh, machines uh, should be communicated to your uh, secondary dsm multinode server so that thing is automatically decided by your deep security manager you can't do anything with this the only thing is it's automatically manages the load and any of the server goes down then all the loads will be automatically shifted to your primary or secondary server which is available so i hope guys now you have understood how to install deep security manager in multinode if in case if you still have any question queries then please feel free to comment down below i'll definitely try to answer all your queries this is sohan thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next video till then bye bye